Hello and good evening. My name's John, and we're here playing Arranged as part of my Steam cleaning series. So I go through every game in my Steam library eventually, then arbitrarily rate and or review them after a wee bit of playtime. Now, I don't quite know what this game is. I think the game's out at random. I believe this was like a dollar, I gotta, I gotta say. Like, I think a dollar on Steam sale. I bought it a while ago. Um, yeah. Let's hit play and find out. This is the story of my life, all right? I am a woman. I am a daughter. But more importantly, I am just one of you. What you read here is both real and a lie, because I wrote it. My name is, uh, Elfie? Elif? Elif? Elif means, Elif is the first letter of Arabic alphabet. Name of Allah, God starts with Elf. A, Ilf, as the original language of Koran is Arabic. For such reason, some religious people name their daughters Ilf. <clears throat> I'm saying that wrong and I apologize. Oh no, my video capture device. Hold on. There we go, now we're in it. Back then, I was 24. We had been living on the farm that my father was working. My family wanted me to return home right after my college graduation. <clears throat> I had to go back, I wanted to go back. I had to go back. A hand was needed for the village work and I was supposed to be that hand. That was mostly because my college expense left them with a huge debt. Let me introduce my family to you. I already told you my father works on the farm. He's not very talkative. Oh, there was a housewife, and she would chores and cook. My sister was into the village life. Into the village life. She was working in the garden, taking care of our chickens and cows. Not want to study after high school. Unlike her, I never liked the life here. But she had always told me, "You are not like me. Study and get a college degree." She was 29 back then. Marriage was her biggest dream. I wanted her to get married, but no one had asked her for a hand in marriage. But back to my story. I started helping my family with village work right after I arrived here. Sometimes I was working in a field to help my father. Sometimes I helped my mother with the chores. Sometimes I'm milking the cows with my sister. Summer did not mean a holiday for us. It meant preparation for the winter. The summers were busy and exhausting. All summer, mother and everyone told me that I needed to get married so soon. Married soon, sorry. Wrote, wrote out in line. Everyone had an opinion about what I should do and not hesitate to tell me what to do. Everybody's a critic. The long pause, I'll click again. Get married, have a child before 30. Don't be like your sister, spinster. <laughs> People still said spinster. We are part of a society, we live in a society, you know? Um, of course, you're the best of everything. Ever since I came back to our village, I questioned myself if I was ready to get married. I was not ready for marriage, but it seemed like I would not be able to run away from it. My parents were afraid that I would be like my sister without a job and a husband. He has a job helping out on the farm. They also wanted to become grandparents. Essential to have a big family, you know. Key to happiness. One day, the lady of the farm... The farm. Knocked on our door. It was the first time that she said she wanted to come just to talk rather than tell us what, to, what work to do. Oh, she must have owned the farm. She was holding... <clears throat> A package of low-cup. I took her gift and invited her in. My mother told my sister and me that we needed to milk the cow. We left the house. When we returned, she was already gone. Dinner tale, my mother told my father. The day the lady at the farm came by, they want to ask Elf's hand in marriage. When can they come? My father, as if something very unusual is happening, calmly said, They come next Thursday. They can come next Thursday. I don't like that it's flashing. I don't know why it's going to black. And he kept eating. Time had stopped at the moment I lost my appetite. My sister also dropped her spoon. I did her. My parents looked happy. My mother had always wanted us to get married to rather rich grooms. After all, she knew what it was like to be married to a poor one. Wow, always struggling. I went to bed but could not sleep. My mother called the lady at the farm and let her know about their read date. They were giggling on the phone. My mother was absolutely happy as they were wealthy. The lady at the farm was also happy, possibly because I was educated and hardworking. Everyone except my sister looked delighted. Maybe she was afraid to show her feelings. One day, I went next to her. There's not many days between now and Thursday. I went next to her and she was gardening. I told her that she had been resonant lately. So shy. Quiet. And that she can share her feelings with me. Her eyes are full of tears. She pushed herself to smile and she told me. Good things are always happening to 
Good things are happening to you for living my dream. I failed to have what is expected of me. She paused a while, then she quickly pulled herself together and said, Do not embarrass them like me. You are pretty now. You will not stay that way forever. Look at me. I am not the same as before. So get married while you can. I hugged her tight. You should be... This is a statement, and this is an action. It was already Thursday. We made preparations for the whole day. After sunset, someone knocked on our door. I was shocked to see Mehmet. I'm saying these wrong, and I apologize. Mehmet? We played games when we were kids. We lost contact as we grew up, but now... I was fainted. He did not look too bad at all. He doesn't look too bad. He looked at me that moment. I felt shy and ran to the kitchen. They had already started talking. She came to the kitchen after me. She asked how I was doing. I said I did not. As she was preparing the coffee cup, she told me, Effie, Elif, good things are happening in your life. Not everyone can get rich and handsome husband. You are lucky. Not looking at my For the tradition, I was supposed to prepare a Turkish coffee for the guests. However, I would prepare his coffee separately. I was either going to put sugar or salt in. If I put sugar, it would mean that I liked him and was ready to get married. If salt, then it would mean that I did not like him. If he drinks it without protest, it would mean that he would be with me during my bad days. That he will accept me as who I am, and that he would drink poison from my hand. Oh. Oh, because they're, they're arranged, so they have to get married. Do I like him? I just met him? And the answer is, am I ready? I don't think she's ready. She hasn't finished her university. I don't think. I don't remember the beginning there. So let's see what happens if we put a little, put a little salt in. After preparing the coffee, I got the achievement salty. I went inside the room. His father took a sip from his coffee and revealed their intentions. He said, In the order of Allah, God's holy order, command is the blessing of the prophet. We ask your daughter to join us on the marriage. My heart was pounding if it would burst. In that moment, I looked at my father and ours met. I bent my head down. I heard him saying, <clears throat> If the youngsters want it, there's nothing left to say. Then I drained the coffee and one strips out. I took a deep breath to find some peace. It did not work. Promises were exchanged. Mehep and I kissed the hands of the elders. I could not see my sister then. My parents were happy their daughter was going to be a bride in, good, in a good house. The day for the engagement settled. Our family allowed us to meet as engaged. Getting to Mehep might be a good idea. We have to get to know each other. It's, I would say it's a good idea. After our guests left, everyone went to their beds to sleep. I'm very nervous about my future. I was going to be the lady of the farm. Did that make me happy? I was always thinking about that. Her bed's not tucked down here in the corner. She's got a little untucked. After a short while, I fell asleep. It looked like I was drawn with, like, vector art almost. When I woke up the next day, I was not feeling well, possibly due to stress. <clears throat> I had nausea. And... Uh, this is an odd twist. I spent the day in bed. We had to go for engagement shopping. We had to go for engagement shopping. My mother called Mevis' mother and told her that I got sick and we needed to post on engagement shopping. She stopped to pass on her wishes for me. I left him bed to greet her and immediately went back in. I decided that there was an evil eye upon me. They prayed for me to get better. I do not remember the rest. On a day that I felt better, we were about to leave for engagement shopping. We would go with my mother and her mo and mother-in-law. My sister was looking like she was in deep thought. I said goodbye to my sister as we, and we left the house for engagement shopping. We met Mahet's mother and headed to town. It was torture for me to bear all this nonsense. We bought bridal slippers, nightgowns, anything a bride would need at home. I had no intention of wearing them, though I may be forced to. Mahet's mother took what we bought and sent us later within was took what was bought to send us later within cases october raining was washing all the windows it seemed like we did not need to clean them. we got prepared for the evening after the sunset we greeted our guests along with the cases as expected the first one had gold quarter coin attached to it mother was thrilled to see it the bright future for her daughter i was silently praying for a miracle <clears throat> that would end this nightmare Women from both families came to her house and we opened the cases and spread out what was in them to show others what we had bought. Shoes, bags, lingerie. Shortly after we got engaged. Must be the... 
I th I think they it'd be nice if they would focus a little bit more on the on the on the, the rituals and the ceremonies and stuff because like I'm curious like what what goes into the strings here and like what are the beads he's holding? Uh, they gave me a promise bracelet, a huge bracelet. Oh, that must be the bracelet. That must be a watch and a ring with a diamond. The moment the ring spun finger, I felt it all felt so real. I felt so desperate, and I was not able to prevent. It. We kissed the hands of the elders. The wedding day was set. We were all officially together then. That would mean I could and would have met Matt. I mean that I could and will have to meet with Matt. A couple days later, my mother approached me and told me that my head called to visit. She also told me that it was a sin to sit together for marriage, so we needed to have something between us with each other. A table would work well enough. I sat down and I was waiting for him. My mother said, It is best that the door is open. Came in the afternoon, I greeted him. He gave me a gift box. I opened it reluctantly. It was a necklace with an evil eye. Thanked him for that, and he told me, Do not let the evil pie upon you. I will not want you to get sick. Take care of yourself, will you? I approved of it by nodding and wore the necklace. Not wearing it. We kept seeing each other for a while. He was visiting me once every two weeks. We were sitting in our living room, always with the table between us. Now that I look back, I realize that I did not know him much. He's not really talkative. It's easier that way for me, too. I had no intention of spending the rest of my life with him. I started visiting every other day. One day he asked what I would want as a Mahir. Yeah, that'd be good to... Okay, what I did not understand, but what does a Mahir mean? I studied in the town for years. I missed some of the vocabulary here. He smiled at my ignorance and we went to unexplaining. Mansplaining. According to Islamic recommendations, I, I need to give you... Oh, Mir? As in the, the herb? Or the set spice? Like frankincense, myrrh? Myrrh. Sure, yeah. Gold or property for for your financial security. Continued explaining and moved to the other side and said, you know, in case we get divorced or I die, you need to be able to continue your life without having financial problems. I mean, of course, the government gives you your financial rights, but I also would like to support you. I had no idea what to ask for. Wait a second. I use it as discourage him from marrying me. If I, for instance, ask for too much, so I told him that I want a gold belt as a mahir. I'm here. But not only that, I also wanted a car. He, without protest, said, okay. Why did he not protest? Nothing seemed to be working. I wonder back then if he liked me at all or if he was just giving in to the wishes of his parents. He told me that he would give me the gold belt before the Hana night and the day before the wedding. The following days, we started preparing my dowry. I chose in the clothes that I would wear as a married woman. I realized some of my stuff was ruined with my lipstick. Or some of my clothes were burnt. My sister ironed them. She would not do that on purpose, or would she? She was looking torpid. But I could not comment on it. Marriage was her dream, too. A dream that did not come true. Everything was moving so fast for me. While I was thinking these, my sister asked if I was feeling okay. I shared my concern with her. To leave my worry, she told me, God will show you if the marriage is good for you or not. Do the Ishtikara prayer before going to bed. Your dream will lead you. That night, I did the Ishtikara prayer, and without talking to anyone, I went to sleep. The next day, I woke up. My sister was already telling me, asking what kind of dream I had. I told her that it was a good dream. Such a good dream. Got achievement. I saw that we were a very happy family. And then I thought to myself, maybe I should bow to the other. Days, weeks, and months have passed. We were engaged for five months. The wedding day was about to come. In line with tradition, we had a henna night before the day before the wedding. We brought henna, canna, red veil, and started preparations. Meantime, I had gave me a gold belt and a car as promised. I started to feel more comfortable. I was happy. I expected I hide all the women from both families were in our house. I had a red veil to cover my face later. I was wearing a traditional Dindali dress with a gold belt on it. I kissed the other hands and I dropped the red veil in the way to cover my face. The henna was on a silver tray with candles. Sang songs about how I would miss my own home, my mother. Sorrowful songs make me cry. Yes, strange as it sounds, I was supposed to cry. I usually cried. It was hard for me to leave my home, my family, and start to live with people who did not know much. They brought the silver henna tray in front of me. I tightened my grip. According to traditions, for me to lose grip, my mother-in-law should place a gold coin in my hand. For me to lose, according to tradition, for me to lose my grip, my mother-in-law should place a gold. Coin. Mother-in-law hesitated, but she had to give the gold coin because I did not open up. Put the hand on both my hands. 
That evening, my mother and I, sister cried a lot together. Next was the wedding day. I woke up early for the preparation, and I wore my wedding gown. I waited until the, we hear the sounds of drums. The drums started, I knew that they would come again. When the drums started, my father came to the room with a red ribbon as a symbol of my virginity. As he came close, he tied the ribbon around my wedding gown with, while praying. I hugged him. He said, this ribbon, red ribbon symbolizes your honor, chastity. I tied it, your husband will untie it. Take good care of my daughter. He turned his back. I felt his sadness. The ribbon is not on the dress. Then I say goodbye to mother and sister. The drums are still continuing. Mehet came. Got in the car. Mehet's father prayed in, prayed in front of the door. My tears were not stopping. Days, months, years passed since then. I had good days, bad days. The days just like the one before. When I look back, though, I was happy. I realized I never knew what romantic love is. Seeing on the TV or reading the books, I adore being in love. Once I saw on TV a woman who was in love with writing a letter to her lover. Would I be in love if I acted like it? Or wrote a letter, for instance? Whoa. Hold on, hold on. According to the Turkish Statistics Institute, 2016, 47.8% of men and women have arranged marriage without with 14% of women and 9% of men had arrangement without consent. Okay. Um, this is arranged. I guess it tells a little story about a, a character. I wonder what will happen if I play through it again and uh, see the other way. Uh, I don't know much about Turkish culture. It should be pretty obvious at this point that I do not know their, their traditions, their heritage, their religions, all, all that kind of stuff. Um, I think this is a nice little glance into it. I think it's rather short. I mean, it was like a dollar. So like, what, what you gonna do about that? Um, I, I think it's okay. I don't know if I'd recommend it. Like when I say this is a game to sit down and play, I, I don't think I have the capacity to, to recognize that they're telling a good story or not, if my choice is being well represented, but I might go through it again just to see, you know, see, see if, if I'm really super nice, what'll happen. Yeah. Cheers.